In the last video, we talked about how to create an anchor menu in Wix Studio. This time, we're going to create a slideshow using the multi-state boxes. So in order to use the slideshows uh, using the multi-state box, you have to first engage the uh, developer mode. That's because if you go to the uh, layout tools, you won't get the uh, multi-state boxes by default. So you have to first engage the developer mode. And if you go to the layout tools now, you will have the multi-state boxes right here. So go ahead and add it. And let's design a slideshow using the uh, multi-state boxes right here. So the first thing we need to do is design each box one by one. So go to the layers and here is your multi-state box. Uh, let's design the box too first. Let's add some images. So go to your media and your uploads. It's a good idea to, uh, you know, organize your folders, your assets. So create the website asset folder. Inside that you can uh, create subfolder like the page names and then create the uh, file names from there based on the uh, assets used in that page. Another thing I want to teach you here is how to edit the images and especially how to uh, remove the backgrounds. So let's say we have this background uh, image here. You can uh, open this image into Wix image editor. Go to the cutout and it will automatically uh, remove the image from this. Sorry, the background. So as you can see, we don't have the background now. You can save this image and uh, it will be saved in your folder right here. Okay, um, another thing I wanna show you, uh, let's use this image, go to crop and add it, and go to the cutout. Now sometimes it also removes certain uh, elements. So what you can do is go to refine cutout, and from here, you can restore the images, right? So as you can see, we now have uh, restored this football here. So in that way, you can easily remove the backgrounds. You don't have to go to some third party uh, websites and pay for some premium services. Okay, uh, let's add this image now to our box like this. And what I'm gonna do is I will, uh, take this image a little bit into the header as well so that it looks uh, much better in the uh, final render. And also let's add an entrance animation. So let's add the glide, adjust animation, change the angle to 90 so that it enters from uh, right side and change the easing to ease out back. So it kind of like bounces back to the original position. Right, um, now let's add some text as well. When adding the text, when it is your main heading, uh, you can assign an H1 HTML tag from here, okay? There should be only one H1 heading in your web page. All right, so uh, the main title of your page will be the H1. Um, since we are using the slideshow here with multiple headings, I will assign H2 or H3 here. Let's also add a subtitle to this. So we will need one more text. This time, a paragraph. Once again, uh, let's change this to hug. By the way, this responsive behavior will be really helpful when you will uh, optimize the design on the mobile devices. So make sure to use the right settings. Now let's add a button as well. Um, so go to buttons and add a basic button here. Let's add some animation to these texts as well. So add the entrance, slide will be good. 
um, for this one let's add blur and for this one let's add reveal okay let's also add some uh, delay between the uh, appearance of these animations so for the blur one I will add 0 0.5 and for button I will add 1 let's also add some delay in this uh, the image Alright, let's uh, preview this design real quick. Let's try to make this more interesting by adding some uh, decorative elements. Let's change its color. To red. And add an animation. To shape. Uh, we need to increase the delay here to one second let's also uh, change the color of these tags here let's uh, change the background color and the text color to white All right, so as you can see, this uh, now looks pretty good. Now let's design other slides as well. So go to layers, select your multi-state box and hit manage state. You can delete uh, this state right here and just duplicate this one. We will replace the elements. So that will save us uh, some time. Um, I will drop this code in the description you can just uh, copy this and paste it and what you need to do is a very simple thing just replace the name of the boxes here okay so this box 58 change it to box 3 so this box 58 will be box 3 box 4 and box 2 and that's it you can now uh, see that these multi-state boxes will be converted into a slideshow so this image looks really good as it uh, you know overlaps on the header so you can change the uh, time as well as the uh, number of the slide using uh, these elements this one right here is a variable you can add as many boxes as you want and here you can uh, set the time 
of the transition right so this is how you create the uh, slideshow now you can create your own elements own animations own uh, slides using the multi-state boxes um, I will drop the link of the code in the description you can copy the code and replace the elements yourself in the next video we are going to add some product categories in the Wix studio so I hope you learned something thanks for watching